It's been really, really interesting. We've had a lot of um, incredible dynamic talks talking about the, um, the research that these researchers and residents are going to be doing over the coming years. Um, and they have some really amazing real world applications. So yeah, it's just really exciting to hear the breadth of the research because it is just so incredibly diverse. Yeah, I think that the, uh, the researchers really appreciated the presentation and discussion around impact and how their research can be um, delivering real-world impact to deliver societal and economic benefits. So I think um, that was really interesting. And then um, this afternoon we've been doing an EDI session with um, some cards and it's been really interesting to, to learn a bit more about um, all of the elements that we need to consider when we're thinking about the approach to a research project that might also have um, a commercialization prospect associated with it. So um, yeah, it's been really fun to, to play with those cards. Just, uh, it's going to be really exciting to see over the coming months how the projects uh, start coming to fruition and these researchers are going to start working on those projects. Um, so starting to see some of those early um, impacts, it's going to be just really exciting. Um, so yeah, we look forward to, to working with some of these researchers on their projects. Yeah, it's been fantastic. Yeah, it's great to meet all of Tranche 2 and some of Tranche 1 are here as well. Um, we had a yeah, really great first session with our Petra Kucha. It's a bit daunting at first, but actually everyone really got into it, stuck in. Um, already made some network, so yeah, it was nice to see the guys who are going to be in the Digital Catapult who I'm working with. So I think we've already decided to plan a session that we're all down at the Digital, digital Catapult at the same time. Um, but also, yeah, there's other like collaborations going on in terms of uh, additive manufacturing more broadly. So yeah, definitely going to hook up with those guys as well, with uh, our PhD students and RAs. So yeah, it's been, been great. Yeah, well, like you say, it's not something that we're used to. That's it. Of just presenting size, but I think yeah, just putting it in the form of pictures. Um, some of the things I thought were really interesting were people using Dali to do uh, to create images of of their research and uh, what it might mean to society. Uh, so that was quite interesting to see that you know AI is already having an effect on how we present uh, our work. So yeah, it was really useful. No, no, I'm just looking forward to the next event and like say getting together and maybe even seeing Tranche Free. I think uh, yeah, that's it. Maybe by that time I'm six months in or twelve months in and. Uh, yeah, I'll be able to pass on my, my wisdom or what I've learned. Yes. Yeah, it's been really great. I um, enjoyed having to get into learn about other people's projects and also learning some other things that relate to the project, uh, such as project management, learning things about EDI and also IP and other kind of things that are related to my project, really. Yeah, it was a little bit, um, it's, it was my first time presenting my work in three minutes, so um, it was, I I thought I had more time than I did eventually, so well, eventually it was good because I felt that I was um, encouraged to compress the things I had to say into such a limited amount of time, but it was overall a great experience. Yes, I've seen a number of people who are interested in similar things to what I'm doing, but looking at it from different, uh, like with a different approach, so that has been helpful and I've had a number of conversations that I can go away with and hopefully will help me develop of my ideas better as well. Yeah, no, I, I always like these kind of exercises where you get given tools to sort of think about something that you might otherwise struggle to sort of conceptualize because it's so complicated and broad and everything else. Um, so yeah, I'm sort of looking forward, I guess, to seeing how the rest of the exercise progresses and how we might be able to think about it both for the research we're doing and sort of further along for the, sort of the idea that we have to try, try and commercialize. But yeah, it's, it's going well now. We're they're being sort of quite flexible with us um, and we're, we're learning a lot about sort of I've never sort of worked with automation before um, with a liquid handler so we're learning a lot about how to design experiments around liquid handlers and the things that don't work things to do etc um, so yeah I'm hopeful that we'll be able to get something out of it I've been too early so for sure <laughs>